What's going on YouTube? Today I'm going to be showing you the first three mods you should do your pit bike that are either free or less than fifty dollars. All right, picture this: you've gone out and you've bought a dirt bike, and what's one of the things that you're going to want to do on a dirt bike? You're going to want to go jump it, but. Uh, you may have noticed that if you've bought one of these Chinese bikes, that they do like to bottom out. The suspension's a bit soft for jumps, so I'm going to show you a couple of ways that we can fix that. Alright, so the first one is super simple and completely free. So, what you're going to want to do, if your pit bike has this, is up at the top of the shock. I don't know whether you can see that, but there's a thread with two... Uh, spinny boys and that can stiffen and soften your spring so uh, if you notice your thick bike bottoming out you can wind that uh, crack the top one open and turn it clockwise and that'll put more pressure on your spring uh, stopping it from bottoming out or if it's really stiff and almost unrideable then you can go the other way and soften her up hips alright so this next one is a little bit more complicated but it's also basically free. All you have to have is just a little bit of engine oil and uh, that will fix your issue. What you're going to want to do is empty out the stock fork oil and replace it with new oil. Now to do this all you've got to do is take your front wheel off or remove your forks but before you remove them all the way push it down a bit and uh, tighten it up so then you can crack this uh, lid open because you can't get it under the bars here. But uh, once you crack that lid open freely, then you can push them out the bottom, take the lid completely off and measure out how much old oil was in there, and then uh, put some new stuff in there. So uh, I guarantee you 10W40 or similar oil will be much thicker than a factory uh, oil. The oil that came out of this dumpster here uh, was basically water. It wasn't too good. So I've put 10W40 in it and I've noticed a huge improvement. It's not stiff or anything. Uh, I did try putting more than the stock amount. I tried to put, it takes 75 mil and I tried to put an extra 75 mil in and it just rode like absolute crap. The When you jump it, the forks wouldn't go down past halfway. So just the stock amount is probably a better idea or maybe a tiny bit more. But uh, yeah, and then Put it all back together and that should have fixed your issue. Alright, so now that your suspension is set right, now you're going to want more power, aren't you? You're going to get a bit power hungry. So, the first thing I'd get for more power is a new carby. Now, the carby on this thing is pretty good. It's a Makuni VM26. It's a 26mm carby, but um, most Chinese, car uh, Chinese bikes will come with a really small, uh, just cheapo carby. Uh, that'll be limited or jetted differently because of the emissions regulations so it'll run as lean as possible uh, without breaking the bike. Hold up. What are you doing? Hmm. So yeah, fit a new carby. Uh, it can be a Chinese one off uh, eBay or Amazon or wherever you're going to want to get it from. But uh, that's pretty inexpensive. <laughs> <laughs> inexpensive and that'll give you more power uh, like lots more responsiveness for wheelies and stuff there's already a guy that's done a video on this so I won't go over it uh, yeah all right so this last upgrade is a set of bars now these are pro taper bars they're for an XR50 and they've made a big difference to how the bike rode um, the stock bars, they were really low and they were also pretty weak. So I replaced them because they were bent, but I also noticed that it felt a lot better with the taller bars. So you chuck a set of them on, that's easy to install. I won't explain that, but that should be less than 50 bucks as well. So just make sure you get yourself a pretty well-known brand like Pro Taper or Renthals or something and they shouldn't bend at all. All right, so it's getting pretty dark out, so I'm gonna wrap this up. Um, let me know what you wanna see on the next video. Uh, I'll have to do something with this eventually. Give me a 250, I'll do a walk around on that. 
Um, going to clean this thing up a bit. So uh, I'll do the valves and uh, paint the exhaust or strip it down to bare metal. Uh, give it a good clean and just make sure she's running mint. And then we'll get some upgrades maybe. I don't know. We'll see. So uh, thanks for watching. Subscribe and uh, like and all that shit. And uh, see you in the next one.